Last Wednesday, I was approached by a student who was almost in tears. She was crying because a college had denied her admission. Now she was confused what to do because that was her dream college. Now I'm sure this might be happening to you or might have already happened to you. So I'm here to tell you what exactly you should be doing if this is happening to you or probably it can happen to anyone. So one thing to be very, very clear first is good colleges, yes, they get filled very fast and that is where they may deny you admission and that may be a real problem, okay? So don't bother or worry about it. If, if that college is full, there are other good colleges also. You can always reach out to me. I'll guide you on that. But yeah, let's come back to this topic. Uh, one college had denied her admission because the last date was over. Over The second college had denied her admission because uh, the seats got full. So she was in tears saying that, sir, now what to do? Because these were my two dream colleges. My plan A and plan B both are closed. So I suggested her the plan C. There is a, another better college which uh, was available. But then I said... Do one thing, go and tell both these colleges that, hey, I am getting admission in another college and uh, they have confirmed my seat, but I am still interested in your college because you have better faculties. And if you still consider me, I can leave that and come to you. Okay. And to my surprise, this trick worked and she got the admission. So most of the time, what these colleges are doing is even when the seats are still there, they will say the seats are over. And then they will try to bargain with you on the fees. They'll they say that we do have a management quota or this quota, that quota, and we have you can you have to pay higher fees for that. So basically, whenever they say the last date is over, actually it is not over, most cases. And if they say that uh, the seats are full, most cases it is not full. It is just that they they're trying to negotiate with you on the fees and they want to charge you a higher fees. So what you have to do is you have to take name of some other good college and say that I have a confirmed seat there. I'm about to pay the fees. If you confirm me, I'll pay here. Otherwise, I'm going there. So when you talk like this, definitely they will come and, you know, say that, okay, fine, we'll take you at the same fees. So that's one trick you should know. Now, coming to the second aspect is, even if, it, so some colleges, like I said, IBAB or Mount Carmel, so their last date gets over means over. You, you can't really go and, uh, you know, change it. So in that case, there are multiple other colleges. See, in India, more than 500 biotech colleges are there. You should know this. 500 plus biotech colleges are there in one or the other you will get admission it is not that your uh, you know year will go waste and most of these colleges keep their admission open till september and also after the uh, latest ugc notification they're going to have two times in a year admission season so that is also a good news so if, even if you miss the admission season of uh, june july you will you, you always have the december jan session to join but that may happen in the future but right now all colleges keep their admissions open till September. So do not get disheartened. You will definitely get a good college. Now, for those who are asking me uh, questions like, is this college good or is that college good? It's very difficult to tell you that. So I have given you the criteria of how to choose a good college. Please go watch that video. You will get to know, okay, what exactly is needed. If this is missing, it is not good. If it is there, then it is good. So keep these things in mind. And if you have any other requests, any other type of videos you want from me, Please comment below and I'll definitely try to make it. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.